Yes, we are going to be learning about plant nutrition. We are going to be learning what? Plant nutrition. Plant nutrition. How do plants feed? How do they get their food? We say that plants are autotrophs, isn't it? They manufacture their food through photosynthesis, but they don't feed on other organisms like animals do. Me and you, if you want to eat, we can feed on flesh, we can feed on cow meat, or we can feed on plants, isn't it? Fruits and other things. But plants, how do they get their own food? How do plants feed? Plants use a process known as what? Photosynthesis. Plants use a process known as photosynthesis. How does this work? The non-green plants, you know there are some plants that are not green. For a plant to do photosynthesis, it must be green in color. So what of those plants that are non-green? How do they feed? The non-green plants lack chlorophyll. They lack chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigment on plants that make them to be having green color, is it not? So, non-green plants lack chlorophyll and as such either feed parasitically or what? Saprophytically. Is that clear? So, any plant that is not green is either feeding using any of the two modes of nutrition, whether it's parasitically or what? Saprophytically. And we know what this two mean. Is it not? Saprophytically or saprophytes are those organisms that feed on dead organisms, is it not? Whereas parasites enjoy other people and cause harm to them and feed. You understand? So that is how non-green plants feed. But how do green plants feed? Because today we are learning about plant nutrition. So plant nutrition covers how both green and non-green plants feed. So we've said that the plants that are non-green, they, they feed through what? Parasitical, they feed parasitically or what? Saprophytically. So how do the green ones feed? The green plants synthesize carbohydrates in the presence of what? Carbon, four oxide, water and what? Chlorophyll. So the function of this chlorophyll is to trap light, sun rays, you understand? And this process gives off what? Oxygen as a byproduct. This process is known as what? Photosynthesis. Is that clear? So they will ask you what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a, a, a process where green plants manufacture their own food by doing what? By synthesizing carbohydrates in the presence of what? Carbon 4 oxide, water and what? Chlorophyll. And give off what? Oxygen. Is that clear? That is photosynthesis. So this is a this is the reaction, the chemical equation for photosynthesis. Carbon 4 oxide reacts with what? Water. In the presence of what? Light and what? Chlorophyll to give what? Glucose. This glucose is the carbohydrate that is synthesized. Is that clear? Giving off the byproduct of what? Oxygen. Giving off the byproduct of what? Oxygen. So this is a photosynthesis reaction. Is that clear? So if Jam asks you which of the following is needed for photosynthesis to occur? Or what are the materials needed for photosynthesis to occur? Give me an example of a material that is needed for photosynthesis to occur. Chlorophyll. Give me one. Carbon dioxide. Carbon four oxide. Another example. Another material needed. Water. You understand? There has to be carbon four oxide. There has to be water. There has to be chlorophyll. You understand? If the plant is not green, this reaction will not happen. And there has to be what? There has to be what? Light. Can you see those things that are necessary for photosynthesis to occur? Give me five of them. One, two, three, four. No, no, no. Glucose is not necessary for it to occur. Glucose is the product, is what is produced after photosynthesis must have done what occurred. Is that clear? So, this photosynthesis is happening in order to get what? Glucose. Because glucose is that nutrient that they need. Is that clear? So, we say that photosynthesis is the process by which plants synthesize what? Carbohydrate. They need this carbohydrate. And this green carbohydrate is also known as what? Glucose. Is that clear? So, how do they manufacture this carbohydrate? By using the process known as what? 
photosynthesis. And for this photosynthesis to happen, you need what? Carbon four oxide, water, light, and chlorophyll. Is that clear? So what is the byproduct of photosynthesis? That will ask you. What is the product that is not needed? It's a product, but it's not the major project. It's a byproduct. What is it? Glucose is the main product. So the byproduct of photosynthesis is what? Oxygen. Is that clear? Is that clear? Can I clean up? Now, photosynthesis happens in two stages. Photosynthesis happens in what? It happens in what? Two stages. Number one is what we call the light phase. Number one is what we call the what? Light phase. Or you can say photosynthesis happens in two phases. In two what? Phases. Number one is the light phase, and number two is the what? Dark phase. Is that clear? So we have the dark phase and the light phase. Now, let's look at the light phase light phase reaction. What happens in the light phase in photosynthesis? What happens? Number one the thing that happens, the chlorophyll traps the light energy. Number one is what? The chlorophyll traps the light energy. That's the first thing that happens during photosynthesis. The other chlorophyll, the green pigment was trapped in the water light energy. Number two, the water further splits, the energy further splits the water into hydrogen and hydrogen ion. B, the energy further splits water into hydrogen Hydrogen ion and what? Hydrogel. Hydrogen and what? Hydrogel ion. That's the second thing that happens in the light phase. The chlorophyll traps the light rays. That's the first thing that happens. Then this light ray with the energy splits the water molecule into hydrogen ion and hydrogel ion, which is called photolysis. Called photolysis. So that will ask you, the splitting of water molecule into hydrogen and hydrogen ion is known as what? Photolysis. So this is the equation for H2O is split into four hydrogen ion and what four hydrogel ion plus ATP. Now the hydrogen ion is reconverted to water and oxygen. That's the next thing that happens. The hydrogel ion is reconverted to water and oxygen. In that case, 4 OH turns back to 2H2O plus O2. Exactly. That's the third thing that happened in the light phase. Then the fourth thing that happens is that during this process, oxygen is liberated as a byproduct. At the same time, a compound coexam known as NADP is reduced by hydrogen ion to NADH and ATP is formed. ATP is the chemical means for storing energy. This ATP is the chemical means for storing energy. 
So what actually happened here is that the byproduct, what is produced? Oxygen. This oxygen byproduct is produced here. When these two reactions, when these two reactions occur, oxygen is produced as a byproduct. Then ATP, which stores energy, is also produced. Is that clear? So we cannot say that the overall equation is shown. This is the byproduct. So we cannot show that the overall reaction equation here. You can show it to be what? 6 h 2 o plus CO2 plus 6 CO2. Is that clear? To give what? Glucose 6 S12 O6 plus what? Oxygen. You already know this equation now, huh? This is the equation of photosynthesis. But you must need the energy of the light, huh? Energy of the light and what? What else do you need? Chlorophyll. So now we'll talk about the dark phase reaction. Dark phase reaction. This is the light phase reaction. The, what happens in what happened in the dark phase reaction? The reaction takes place in the presence of enzymes and requires no light. The hydrogen atoms are added to carbon four oxide to form simple sugar. Other substances such as starch, fats, and oil and protein are then synthesized from this dark phase. So light phase reaction needs light, and that's why chlorophyll traps the light for all this to happen. But in dark phase reaction, you don't need what? Light. So this one, dark phase reaction takes place in the presence of enzyme. Presence of what? Enzymes and requires no light. Takes place in the presence of enzymes and does what? Requires no light. So the dark phase reaction does not require any light. The re hydrogen atoms are added to carbon. So what happens here actually is that hydrogen atoms are added to what this carbon 2 this carbon 4 oxide in the presence of energy and enzyme to form what simple sugar CH2O and what water this is known as simple sugar this one is known as what simple sugar so we have hydrogen atom reacting with carbon 4 oxide to form simple sugar from this simple, simple sugar other things like starch can be synthesized is that clear you can get starch you can get fats and oil and you can get also what proteins so this is how plant gets most of this nutrient understand from the synthesis that happened in the dark phase reaction is that clear so this one happens in the presence of what enzyme back and what energy so those are the two aspects of photosynthesis those are the two what phases of photosynthesis number one is the light phase which involves the chlorophyll trapping the light and the splitting of the water molecule into hydrogen and hydrogel what? ions. And the hydrogel ion is later reconverted to what? Oxygen. In the whole process, we have ATP forming. You understand? Giving you the overall reaction where you have oxygen reacting with carbon four oxide to form what? Glucose and what? Byproduct of oxygen. I mean, this is water 
with carbon dioxide is the presence of energy and chlorophyll to form glucose and water by product of oxygen. Is that clear? Whereas in that phase, what we have is the reaction between carbon dioxide and water, hydrogen atoms. Is that clear? To form simple sugar. This simple sugar can then be synthesized to form to produce what? Starch, fast and oil and what? Protein. Is that clear? Did you get it? So then is gonna ask you what are the phases we have in photosynthesis. We have the light phase and what? Dark phase. The light phase needs what light to happen. Is that clear? Whereas the dark phase does not need what light. It's pure synthesis reaction that takes place. 